In this video, we are going to explore the intricate relationship between Portfast BPDU filter and BPDU guard. As you probably know from my previous videos, there are some dependencies between the guard, the filter, and the Portfast. The BPDU filter and the BPDU guard can be configured in such a way that they are active on the port only when Portfast is active on a port. If that's the case, we have to explore these dependencies. Also, what happens if we have a certain combination of these three features configured on the port at the same time? Which of the features wins? Is it going to be the guard, is it going to be the filter, or is it going to be the port fast? And finally, there are some combinations of these configurations that simply make no sense. In other words, at least one of the features configured on the port will never be active if they are configured in such a way. First, a quick reminder about Portfast. Portfast can be configured using two different methods. It can be configured globally, or it can be configured on a per port basis. In both of these cases, the operational Portfast state on the port will be conditional on incoming BPDUs. If there are no incoming BPDUs on this port, the Portfast feature will be active. When the BPDU arrives on the port, the Portfast on this port will be turned off. It will be operationally disabled. BPDU guard can also be configured using two different methods. It can be configured globally or on per port basis. In both cases, BPDU guard is going to supersede the port fast. How does that work? Well, let's imagine that we have a port. This is here a port and we have traffic arriving to this port. The first feature that this traffic arriving, the incoming BPDU, is going to encounter will be the guard. And behind the guard, we have the port fast sitting, if it was configured. That means that when the BPDU arrives on this port here, it will trip off the guard, which will error disable the port, effectively turning the port fast with it off as well. Now, the important thing to understand here is that when the BPDU guard is configured globally, it will be configured as part of the port fast command. That means that if the guard is enabled globally, unless portfast is enabled on this port, the guard will not be enabled. But when configured per port, the guard is an unconditional feature and will always be active. But the important, here, the important thing to understand here is that the incoming BPDU will actually trip off the guard before it turns portfast off. Now, why is this important? Because if it was the other way around, if the port fast was triggered or tripped off before the guard was encountered by the incoming BPDU, the port fast would disappear from the port. And if the guard was configured globally, this would automatically disable the guard on the port itself, rendering it completely useless. Now, that means that that command shouldn't even exist in the first place, and this is why the guard actually wins over portfast in this case. The guard will be the feature that the incoming BPDU encounters first. BPDU filter also has two ways of being configured. It's also global and per port. So when configured globally, this is the way BPDU filter works. Again, let's imagine that we have a port here and we have traffic arriving to this port. When configured globally, the BPDU filter is configured as part of Portfast. So we can say that this feature actually depends on Portfast configuration. The first feature that is going to be encountered by the incoming BPDU when BPDU filter is configured globally will actually be the port fast and only behind this is where the filter sits. And remember, when configured globally, 
the BPDU filter does not filter any incoming BPDUs. It will filter only outgoing BPDUs. And why is that? Because the incoming BPDU here, the one that arrives to this port, will actually encounter port fast first. And if the BPDU arrives on the port on which port fast is enabled, it is going to turn off the port fast. And because our filter is actually dependent on the port fast, with it, the filter will be turned off as well. Now, this is very, very different in a case when we have the BPDU filter configured on per port basis. In that case, let's examine what happens. I have a port and the traffic is arriving this way. The first feature that this BPDU is going to encounter is the filter. When the BPDU arrives on this port, it will actually be filtered out by the filter. And it doesn't matter what features I have sitting behind the filter, like port fast or maybe even guard here, slightly different order there, so I'm just going to remove the guard. So the, fil the, B B B the port fast will never be encountered by the incoming BPDU in this case, because the filter will catch it first. So from this we can gather that the combination of port fast and BPDU filter makes some sense. Also the combination of port fast and guard also makes some sense. But what if we had the filter and the guard configured at the same time? Does this configuration make sense? Well, let's examine that. Now, let's say that we have filter configured globally and guard. Now, for guard, it doesn't matter whether it's configured globally or locally. It behaves the same way. So here we have the interface and the BPDU arrives. The first, the first feature that will be encountered in this case by the incoming BPDU will be our guard which means that when this BPDU arrives, this port is going to go and become error disabled. Now, behind this feature, we have the filter sitting here. But remember, globally configured filter is designed to filter only the outgoing BPDUs. So the incoming BPDUs are not going to be touched by the BPDU filter. So from that perspective, we can say that this configuration actually makes some sense. But what about the situation when we have the filter configured on per port basis and we have a guard configured here? Let's again examine what happens when the BPDU arrives. The first feature that is going to be encountered by the incoming BPDU will be the filter and behind the filter the guard sits. The incoming BPDU will be filtered out by the filter and never ever actually encountered by our guard. So we can say that this configuration makes no sense. So don't configure spanning tree BPDU filter enable and spanning tree BPDU guard enable at the same time on the port because the guard configuration in this case will never ever error disable the port because incoming BPDUs will be filtered by the BPDU filter.